So ultimateclassicrock.com has confirmed that, which we have been speculating on for about a month now, and that's that Axl Rose uh, will be taking Brian Johnson's place for the remaining tour dates on the Rocker Bus Tour for ACDC. And we did a reaction to this whenever the news first started to circulate. It was one that was done within a character that sort of examined things from one point of view. And I want to really give sort of my actual two cents on this whole entire scenario now that the news has become, at least apparently, official. <clears throat> and this is something that has been somewhat confirmed by other members of the collective family of ACDC. So it's not as though it's new information. It's just confirmed information. Now, there's a lot of purists that are out there and a lot of longtime fans of the band that will find this to be a bit of a challenge to accept, probably because for the past 35 years, Brian Johnson has been the front and face of this band. He's been the gentleman that you see in front of the microphone that is singing all of the classics, singing all of the songs that many of you know and love. And it's very hard to imagine somebody else manning that position. And that's a, that's a very fair position to have. That's a very understandable sentiment to really, uh, to really uh, have. Uh, however, considering the health concerns with Brian Johnson, with his hearing, considering he essentially took himself out of this position, he essentially was the one who opted to walk away and think of his health. I find it kind of neat that ACDC is willing to go out there and team up with Axel, and really for all of the bad things that perhaps have been said about Axel, I think it's pretty neat that he is that he has been courteous enough to step into this uh, into this role with ACDC. That way, they can fulfill the dates that they had already signed on for. And I say this principally because of how big of a band that ACDC is. I say this because of the different locations that they're traveling to. There are no doubt fans that came, or will be coming rather, from very far reaches uh, that probably have spent a good amount of money on tickets and will be spending a good amount of money on travel in order to get there. And I understand that not having a key component of the band will almost seem a bit bastardized, but the fact that they're still going to go on, they're still going to perform, and somebody is going to do his best to really try to capture that same spirit of ACDC without directly trying to maybe outperform Brian or try to be Brian is a pretty cool thing. I think that's honestly cool because in this situation, it really appears that ACDC will not have the traditional farewell tour that you traditionally associate with groups uh, that are nearing the end of their career. We, of course, just heard that Aerosmith may be contemplating a farewell tour in 2017. That's not been confirmed, but there have been some rumors that have been sparked. <clears throat> so to see ACDC not have that same opportunity based off of uh, collective health problems and just the advance of age and time uh, would seem really un unfortunate, but this seems like an apt way to still have a bit of a send-off. So, I don't see Axel trying to outperform Ryan, try to have the spotlight be all about him. I really, uh, I, I approach this scenario really with a lot of respect simply because Axel had his own, you know, comeback tour with Guns N' Roses to consider, and then decided that he was also going to step up for this. And the band themselves uh, could have easily just walked away and not honored any of the dates. Instead, there's a little bit of unselfishness that's going on on both of these counts. They're making the best out of a less than ideal situation and still trying to have these final shows go off with a hitch, go off with a bang, and go off with something that may be memorable to the fan base. But I want to know what you guys think. Now, obviously, since this has been speculated for about a month, this is not exactly new information or new news. It's merely a confirmation that all of the theories that were present back then were indeed accurate. But I want to know what you guys think now that it's official. Do you think that this is still a good move? Do you think that perhaps this is being done unselfishly? Or do you feel that ACDC should have just stopped the train right there and not honored these dates? I want to know, so let me know in the comments below. 
it's a bit later than usual whenever it comes to these videos. I guess I'm gearing up for 24 hours of CKN, that and the fact that the news literally just broke about a half an hour prior to recording. But I want to know your thoughts. Hopefully there's a lot of you still up. It's an early Sunday morning. Let me know what you think. I'm Cover Killer Nation, and I'll talk to you later.